sections are eight because seven doesn't look good in the uh, first symmetry in a rosette window. So it just be eight. All the windows start from the beginning of 19th century. It's orc stained glass window. And you will see later painted glass from later on. And they tell you a story. So, for example, when you look at the one in front of me, the bottom part, left, first window on the left, and the second, there is a man and a woman. And they had no offspring, so they belonged to family Schwarzenberg, who were a German family that helped uh, have to defeat the Turkish army in Vienna. So the Turkish army never got here. And uh, they had no offspring, not because she couldn't get pregnant, but they had an argument. And they didn't talk to each other for 10 years. <coughs> and finally, if you see the right bottom section, uh, second level, there is a date, 1727. I know you write the seven differently than we do. And then there is a man, and that's a time when John of Nepomuk was canonized, became a saint. That's a statue when on a chance bridge you wrote the statue, make a wish, all the wishes will be granted. They met together, and you see they are kneeling next to the bed with a baby. The child was born, the family didn't die out. Thank you to God. And then parallel. Excuse me. Thank you to God. Thank you to God because. You see, you, you connect we got your... them together. Yeah, the same God then, you know. They canonize the God. And it's actually the story behind canonization is it's a man who was killed in the 1300s because he didn't want to re reveal, according to legend, the confession to, of a queen to her husband. Before they killed him, they cut off his tongue. 400 years later, they found the tongue in a river. They never found the body. They just found the tongue. They took the tongue. Out of 2,000 kilo of pure silver, made a huge coffin. Very famous guy from Vienna. And inside the coffin, they buried the gun. And that's the day when he was canonized. And that's the miracle that brought them together. And that's when the child was born. So you got upper section. Abraham is sending away Hagar and Ismail. And on the right, you see he's sacrificing Isaac. And then we can go chapel, chapel, you see tombstones, it's always who is the donor who to whom to belong. And here, for example, the guy who financed this window, he had a bakery. So you see Pentaclos, Resurrection of Jesus. In the right bottom section, there is a man holding a pretzel. Because he had a bakery, and he didn't feel appropriate to write the name of the bakery and the connection, so he's just advertising himself with a pretzel. This is worse. Uh, biblical... Hard. If you work with hard labor work, your harvest is going to be with happiness and joy. Joy. And then at the bottom is the drug insurance company. Give us money, you will get it back. And then the company had the sickle for harvesting. And if I can ask you to move a little further back, you see a window which is very different, and very beautiful. Well, different. different this window, if you can come closer, uh, is designed by a man. Uh, the, you see behind me, the one that's painted. Mm -hmm. uh, if you heard about the actress Sarah Bernhardt, she was very eccentric, uh, slept in a coffin, and, and any poster I'll show you in a city that is designed for her, for the place, and that are done by Czech. Uh, it's called uh, Mucha, Alphonse Mucha, M-U-C-H-A. So if you hear about Art Nouveau, Art Nouveau posters, Mucha said everybody should look at something beautiful. And if you cannot afford to buy it, you know, he started to invent posters and decorate everyday things that everybody should look at something beautiful and surround something uh, himself with something beautiful. The National Theatre artists look down at him, commercial, you know, but look, you know, it's very unique and very specific style. The uh, Good King Wenceslas is buried here from the Christmas song. He is not the king, the prince, the but he is here from the library. And then uh, we will talk tomorrow about uh, the Jewish people had to wear yellow badge. The man who started uh, Ferdinand the first Habsburg in 1500s is buried in a mausoleum. And the Habsburg said, the whole world can fight, we will take country after country through marriages. That's what happened here in France and Mexico and all that. Any question? Mm -hmm. You want to say something?